Welcome to MOOC's module on Graphics and Animation Development. In this session, we will cover some of the GIMP tools like Rectangle Select Tool, Ellipse Select Tool, Bucket Fill Tool along with the options like filling the shape with foreground color, background color and pattern. And we will also learn how to apply a stroke to a selection. Rectangle Select Tool and Ellipse Select Tool Rectangle select tool can be used for creating a rectangular selection and it can also be used for creating a rectangular shape by filling it with any specific color of your choice using the bucket fill tool. Similarly, ellipse select tool can be used for drawing a elliptical shape and further it can be filled by any specific color using the bucket fill tool. Paint using foreground color from the menu option and using bucket fill tool. The steps to be followed for this are first of all open a new file of desired dimensions then click on the rectangle select tool to draw a rectangular region on the working area and then set the foreground color to any specific color of your choice and go to edit menu at the end and choose the option fill with foreground color from the menu options and the same color will be filled in the rectangular shape automatically. So in this figure you can see that uh, edit menu is having several options like fill with foreground color, fill with background color, fill with pattern and we can also apply stroke selection options from here. Paint using bucket fill tool by using bucket tool options. So rest of the steps will remain same but at the end instead of using the edit menu options we will go ahead with bucket fill tool additional options and from there also we can apply the foreground color background color and pattern fill options to the selected area so in this diagram we can see that in the new file on gimp working environment a blue color is being filled in the rectangular selection Similarly, we can create an elliptical shape using the ellipse tool from the toolbox of GIMP. And the steps for this are totally same as we have done for the rectangular select tool. First of all, select the tool from the toolbox and then draw some elliptical selection on the working area and pick up a color of your choice and fill it using the bucket fill tool. We can also apply a stroke to the elliptical shape from the select menu. For this purpose we need to follow the steps like go to select menu after drawing an initial selection and choose the option grow and after that set the grow selection by option to number of pixels required for stroke width and then click on the ok button in grow selection dialog box and finally go to the edit menu and follow the same steps as we have done for applying the foreground color or background color and after those option there is one option like stroke selection menu option and from that stroke selection option we can set the stroke line width as well as we can define the type of fill for the stroke like it can be solid color or it can be pattern. So in this figure we can have an idea how does this grow selection dialog box appears on the screen and from there we can set the number of pixels option. In the next we are seeing that the stroke selection dialog box is on the screen and from there we are applying the options like stroke line and line width. So these all we will see in the demo part also. So for remembering the certain shortcuts it will make the working quite smooth like control plus shift plus a it can be used for selecting none control plus a for selecting all control plus i for selecting the inverse of a selection capital r from the keyboard is to be clicked in order to select the rectangle select tool capital e for selecting the ellipse select tool directly or the learner can directly click on the particular tool on the toolbox and shift plus b is the option that we can make use of as a shortcut for clicking on the bucket fill tool. So by making use of the shortcut keys within a less time we can directly pick up the various options. This is the reference from where the learner can 
uh, read in detail about all these tools and now let us have a quick demo of all these tools that we have gone through in the session. So for this uh, we will make use of GIMP software. As you can see that currently there is no file open. So what I will do, I will open a new file from the file menu and by keeping the options default, we will open a new file. And in this area, we will try to draw a rectangular selection like this. You drag to an area you require the size of the shape. And after this, we will set some foreground color. And after setting it to some foreground color and I am changing the background color also, let it be some other color than white. So now we are having red as foreground color and green as a background color. So after this we will pick up the bucket fill tool and we will try to see how to apply the three things foreground, background and pattern. So we can see that at the end of the toolbox we are having certain tool options mentioned. So these options will be activated depending upon the tool selected from the toolbox. So the first one is foreground color. Simply click in the rectangular selection it will apply the color. Background color it will apply the background color now. If I am clicking on the radio button for the pattern fill and if you want to change the pattern as well pick any pattern from here of your choice and click inside. So in this manner we have seen that from the tools option we can apply foreground, background and pattern. There is one more way through which we can do the same. So for that purpose I am going to draw a elliptical shape here and then I will go to edit fill with foreground color. So instead of making use of bucket fill directly it will apply the default foreground color. Similarly other options can be used fill with background color and fill with pattern. So because the pattern at the background is same so we can uh, make use of some other pattern also before applying this option. So let me keep it with the background color and after this we will see how to apply a stroke to this. So for that click on edit menu, go to stroke selection and from here I am keeping stroke line as solid and line width that is the stroke width to be 9 pixels and then click on stroke. So now you can see that the stroke has been applied to this particular elliptical figure. One more option we have covered in the session that is on selection grow. So that will be available from the select menu click on grow. So from here I am setting the number of pixels to let's say 13. So you can see that there is one more selection is coming on the screen depending upon the grow selection pixel setting. So after this the steps are same go to again edit stroke selection and from here we will apply the stroke. So the red color stroke is applied again on the selection and if you want to apply some different color you can change first of all the foreground color. Let me change it to let's say blue. So again apply edit stroke selection the default options. So these new stroke settings will be applied to the new selection visible on the screen. So in this manner in this session we have done the very simple tools of GIMP rectangle select tool, ellipse select tool and bucket fill tool along with some of the options like filling the figure with foreground color, background color, pattern and changing the stroke properties. Thank you.